it's just it's struggled the past few years we're trying to get it back up to where we used to be back in the day I fell in love with the sport right out of college it takes an all-around athlete tackling running I mean it's just a whole you just it's so easy to fall in love with the sport I mean you got guys that have been out here playing for 30 plus years and they just can't get away from it I'm on year 10 now and I don't see myself slowing down it just it's just so easy to fall in love with I mean it's it's a brutal sport, but it looks more vicious than what it is. They've changed a lot with the tackling rules, so there's not as harsh of tackling anymore. Uh, it does, I mean, you gotta somewhat take care of your body. You just can't come out here and expect to play 80 minutes of rugby. My goal is 35. I'm 30 now, so hopefully I got five more years left in me. Huh? <laughs> Um, well, it's fantastic to be back to Iowa Falls. I uh, have missed everyone here and the place. It's uh, wonderful, my roots. And uh, I've been going to all I was for a long time, so it's really special that it's this event. Um, being inducted into the Rugby Hall of Fame is a huge honor for me. Um, I'm so proud that uh, rugby and I was embraced, especially women's rugby. Um, it's such a sport that forces you to persevere and be strong, and you can carry that through all your life skills. Uh, so of the select few in the Hall of Fame representing Iowa and women's rugby in Iowa. I uh, couldn't be more proud of that moment and I'm super happy today to um, remember Steve and take this special opportunity, who, uh, Steve Burrow who's also being inducted in the Hall of Fame and then a special memorial for all the players that played with him. I've seen so many faces throughout the rugby community and my uh, community growing. More than once he stood on these fields and asked that his ashes be spread in these fields after his passing. But I would be remiss not to mention others who have passed recently who are part of our rugby family. Dave Schluter of Dubuque, Jacob Veggie Hayes of Cedar Rapids, and Will Hickman of Mason City. And there may be others that, I were, that I'm not aware of. This is a time of remembrance for you as well, and I pray the words I speak today will be meaningful.